Hi, I'm Sherielle Smith, and this is the ASUS EEE PC X101 <laughs> netbook. It's a it's a mouthful, but despite the despite the long name, the netbook itself is very thin, uh, very easy, e very portable, and it's also running on the Mego OS, which is designed specifically for netbooks and smartphones. So we're going to take a closer look inside and see what this netbook has to offer. As you can see, the X101 is very thin and it's extremely light. It only weighs two pounds, which is really cool. It's done in all white. Um, it's made of plastic. It's very minimalist. Um, the only accents are if you got in really close, there is a basket weave design and the chrome plated ASUS logo. So let's take a look on the inside. So as you can see, the all white interior con um, continues on the inside. Uh, the only flourishes we have are a little bit of blue here and there. So as you can see, this is the initial screen that you get when you first start it up. Um, Mego does not have a traditional desktop if you're, as usual PCs do. Um, and that's because Mego is primarily based, is primarily set, set up for netbooks and smartphones and is very, very social networking focused. So up here is the Mego toolbar where I can transition between the Mego pages. So zones shows me all the different things that I have open. So this is a, this is a website. This is a document, this is my mail, this is a game I was playing. Uh, let's switch to internet. Uh, the, instead of Chrome OS, since this is Mego, um, for, to web browse, Mego actually uses Chromium OS. And as you can see, the last thing I was playing with was the Sudoku. So it's asking, it's telling me that my open page, my open web browser is asking for my attention. So we'll activate. And here we are. So this is the laptop homepage, as you can see. Uh, an, an etiquette page called Miss Lola. And if I want to switch between, if I want to switch to something else, I can either hit the home button on the on the keyboard which will bring back the, the toolbar, or I could have just moused over and it would have automatically popped up. So media, like this is where all my music, any videos that I have, podcast, radio is stored. So let's check out the sound. So as you can hear, um, for a netbook, this is about standard sound. Um, it won't fill up a small room, but it'll get the job done if you if you really need it done, if you really want to listen to something. So it's not, it doesn't have bad sound. We're gonna move on to gadgets. Gadgets is a fun little um, kind of pasteboard where I can set up, I can just download a whole bunch of little widgets. So this right here is a magic eight ball. Uh, I've got weather bugs so I can check out the forecast, a little game of Tetris running, a news feed. What I didn't like about this is that a lot of the, a lot of the feeds or fun apps that I would have liked, they didn't load. And as you can see, there's an error reading feed. This one's still trying to load. So it's, it's a mixed bag with this. It's fun, but it could be better. Uh, there's also status where I can switch between Facebook and Twitter or I can add another web account and just keep uh, keep up the uh, speed on what my friends are doing on Facebook or Twitter. So a couple of, a couple of cons about the X101, if, as you can see, it takes a little while for the toolbar to pop up. And when you're transitioning, it could, it could take about five seconds to do it. Like it's, it can be faster, but I've noticed that there's a lag when you're trying to switch between uh, panels. The other thing is the keyboard is, is sort of tiny and the keys are very small. 
and it can make typing very difficult, especially when you start trying to use this extremely small shift key. Um, another problem that I had with, with this netbook was the touchpad. I found that trying to highlight something was very, it was very, very difficult. So, or even trying to scroll, as I'm try, trying to scroll down now, can be a little bit of a, a chore. And let's see if I try to like it. I'm trying, what I'm trying to highlight is this, this sentence right here. But as you can see, I'm having a little <laughs> more than a little difficulty. But other than that, if you, I would recommend Amigo if you're very social networking focused, if you only need to do light productivity work, um, you won't be doing any video editing. You won't be do, playing any uh, graphically taxing games. You can play casual games and you can watch a little bit of video. It won't be the best quality. I noticed that if you try to play 1080p, it will lag. There will be a lot of buffering. But if you keep it to 420, you should be fine. Uh, the one of the good price, one of the best things about this netbook is that it is $199. So if you need a a nice portable, lightweight netbook that can keep you engaged with your social networking contacts at all times and you can do a little bit of word processing, a little bit of video watching, this might be the notebook for you.